A patched headhunters member has pleaded guilty to the murder of the president of the notorious chapter of the mongrel mob, Daniel Eliu. Headhunters member Thomas Tahitahi, who had recently been released from prison, traveled from West Auckland to a South Auckland church to kill Eliu, who he considered to be his arch rival. On December 17, 2022, Eliu was attending a Grace Foundation event at Papa Toetoe Seventh Day Adventist Community Church. It was the last service for the year, and a Christmas lunch was scheduled afterwards. There were about 200 people, including children, women, and elderly. Eliu was due to graduate from one of the Grace Foundation programs that day. According to documents presented at the court, Tahitahi was known to police as he was released from prison on November 23rd of the same year. At about 8.46 a.m. on December 17th, he drove a Mercedes-Benz S500 car from his Massey home to Point England address and picked up an unknown individual. Between 9.51 a.m. and 9.54, the car was observed repeatedly driving along Puhinui Road, passing by the church driveway, seemingly surveying the area. The accused was then dropped off, while the unknown associate parked the car a short distance away. He then walked down the driveway of the church moving through the car park. He was wearing a blue hoodie with the hood pulled up, sunglasses, and a black jacket was held over his shoulder, hiding a .22 semi-automatic rifle. Tahitahi walked around the car park before strolling around the front lawn where a number of people had gathered for the barbecue. Tahitahi then walked right up to Elu and stood less than a meter behind him, with the gun partially concealed in the black jacket and in the midst of several bystanders, he shot Elu six times in quick succession at point-blank range, twice in the back of each leg and then four times in the back. The victim collapsed at the spot, blood staining the area beneath him, the bullets going through each leg and exiting through his calf, one of the shots to Elu's back passed through his aorta and was fatal on its own, but blood loss from the other wounds contributed to the death. Police and ambulance were called, however, they were unable to save the mongrel mob member as he died shortly after paramedics arrived. Tahitahi ran away to the waiting parked car and sped off. A number of people who were standing close to Eliu chased after the shooter and saw him get back into the Mercedes-Benz. After police arrived and cordoned off the area, an extensive investigation was promptly initiated. Law enforcement officers meticulously gathered evidence, interviewed witnesses, and analyzed surveillance footage to piece together the events leading up to and following Tahitahi's actions. The shooter had been identified in CCTV footage by a distinctive scar on his shin. Footage of him shopping at Westgate Shopping Center in the days prior also captured the scar. Polling data from his phone also mirrored the movements of the Mercedes-Benz on the morning of the shooting. He was arrested 10 days later on 27 December 2022. Tahitahi appeared at the High Court at Auckland on Wednesday 10th of April 2024, where he pleaded guilty to a charge of murder. He stood in the dock wearing a white dress shirt. As he said only one word during the brief hearing, guilty. The headhunter's member previously fought to keep his name a secret, but was declined continued suppression by the Court of Appeal. He later abandoned his bid for further suppression. He was remanded in custody to appear for sentencing on August 14th. The motive behind the killing remains shrouded in mystery. Despite extensive investigation and scrutiny, authorities have yet to uncover the precise factors that compelled him to take such drastic and violent action. Theories abound, ranging from potential gang rivalries, debt collection, and territorial disputes to deeply entrenched personal vendettas. It's anybody's guess. Alu's funeral ceremony in 2022 was marked by motorcycle revving, traditional haka performances, and passionate chants as his mongrel mob comrades bore his casket to his final resting place. Dozens of motorbikes thundered in the southern suburbs of Auckland to bid farewell to slain notorious mongrel mob leader, 
Daniel Elu, also known as Cap Dan Notorious. He was 46 year old. He had been attending a graduation for the Grace Foundation, a Christian-based intensive rehabilitation program, and was seeking to put his criminal pasts behind. The gathering was called True Stories. He was a regular to this rehab program and would visit the church every Saturday morning. At the time of his death, Elieu was waiting to be sentenced after pleading guilty to two charges of conspiracy to deal methamphetamine and four charges of supplying the drug. Nearly $230,000 cash was found in his car when he was stopped by police investigating an organized criminal group selling meth across the Hawke's Bay. In 2006, Elieu had also been sentenced to 11 years in prison for kidnapping a man suspected of being a narc or police informant. Using a box cutter knife, Elieu slashed the victim's face from his jaw to his hairline, which the Court of Appeal would later describe as a particularly bad crime of its kind. Along with mongrel mob members, various members of King Cobras, headhunters, killer bees, Hell's Angels and various members of the Samoan community were also present with the funeral to bid him farewell. If you are looking for exciting and eye-catching bikey updates, ensure you stay connected by hitting that subscribe button. Extend the camaraderie by watching, sharing, commenting and liking the videos. Please also consider sending a super thanks. To keep the channel thriving and the Grid Sparta team motivated, it helps a lot as most of the videos on this channel are not monetized due to the nature of our content. Until next video, take care and Wu Tang.